Hello and welcome to Pontus Presents. Today I'm going to do a presentation of the illustrated A Brief History of Time by the well-known cosmologist and physicist Stephen Hawking. And this book was first published in 1988, but the illustrated edition was first published in 1998. And this edition was published by Bantam Press, but let's check out the book with the dust cover first. The text up here is engraved uh, a bit, you can feel, definitely feel the text. And down here there's a quote. The dust jacket is above average in quality, I would say. And here we have the spine. And the back cover. And here are the text on the dust jacket. And the picture of uh, Stephen Hawking and some information about him. And here we have the book without the dust jacket, just a plain old uh, coated paperboard. Not much to get excited about here. <laughs> But here is the spine, with the text uh, here being engraved into the book. And the back is plain black as well. And I am actually reading this book uh, right now, I'm about 60 pages in, uh, but let's Get into the book with the black end papers and here we have uh, the illustrated a brief history of time and then here down here we have a link to Transworld Books website. Other books by Stephen Hawking and uh, the title page and this edition is uh, updated and expanded from the 1988 edition and this edition was printed and bound in Italy and here you can see the contents uh, with all the chapters uh, and the foreword glossary acknowledgements and an index at the end and here we have a photo by the hubble uh, space telescope and i've always been very interested in um, both cosmology and uh, physics so i find this book to be very interesting so far even if it's a bit mainstream uh, cosmology and physics book but it's pretty easy to understand the concepts and the illustrations definitely help but let's talk a bit about the paper the paper is very white uh, not creamy at all and the paper is coated it feels like a photo paper almost so not the regular paper here uh, but that's understandable since they have a lot of illustrations throughout the book but the paper is very thick and uh, heavy so the book actually has some weight to it which was very surprising when I first uh, got it. But it is a very high quality book actually, especially in terms of paper binding uh, and all of the material used and the quality of the text and illustrations. So as you have probably seen, the book contains a lot of illustrations and the text size is also uh, quite big. And up here it says the, the illustrated A Brief History of Time and here you can see the name of the chapter. It was a good decision of them to reprint this book with the illustrations. Imagine the book not being as engaging if you didn't have all of the illustrations. And there are of course notes to all of the illustrations as well. And here are the acknowledgements and index. And the book is 248 pages long. The end papers at the back are black as well. The book has a great Smithson binding. And I want to thank uh, the commenter uh, Unlock the Power for correcting me. <laughs> because I've always said uh, soon bindings instead of sewn bindings. And I've been saying it for ever since I started making videos actually. So I'm glad someone finally uh, corrected me. But yeah, the binding is with sewn, uh, the headband is black and white, and this is not a hybrid binding, but a true 
a real smith's own binding and here you can see the thread in the gutter as well but the spine is rounded But the book does open up very nicely and it doesn't have a major gutter loss uh, for the illustrations but it doesn't contain many double page spread illustrations at all. But that was what I got to talk about concerning this book. If you have any questions about this edition then please leave a comment and I will answer it as quickly as I can. Please check out my Patreon page if you want to, the link is in the description or it's showing right here. But as always, I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.